I did a bridal look and I'm going to be starting a new series where I do different types of bridal looks that um, I think are on trend and probably a few classic ones too, something for everybody. A little bit heavier than I've seen some people do for the wedding. And of course you're going to be getting your photographs taken on your wedding day. It's important to know that whatever makeup you have on, it's going to get washed out by probably 20 to 30 percent depending on skin tone and elements and that sort of thing. So it's important to do a little bit heavier handed on um, special events like this where you know you're going to be having a lot of pictures taken. And so this is kind of why it's a little bit more dramatic. And um, today I'm wearing false lashes. You'll see me put that on. And it's just a little heavier, but I hope you guys like. And if you want to see how to do this, stay tuned. Eyelid primer. Um, anyone will do. I use Smashbox. And then I'm going to take a liquid eyeshadow that's um, similar to the colors I'm going to be using. So this is a bronzy one. It's by Bourjois and it's called Brune. And I'm applying that with my finger all over the lid and a little bit into my crease um, just to get the color up there and really warm up the eye. This is going to help the eyeshadow last even longer and be more vibrant. Then next I'm going to be taking the color Snazzy by Bare Essentials and a flat shader brush and I'm going to start by shaping out my eye by going from the lower lash line the last lash on my lower lash line and sweeping it all the way around creating a very soft but cat eye effect and this is a real kind of easy way to do it. you just take the side of your brush and, and do that shape then once you've got the shape made go ahead and pack the color on now since I'm using loose minerals um, it's normally best to pat the color on but since I applied that base it really does grab to the color so I'm able to kind of do more swiping motions which helps makes the shape a little bit easier for your eye then I'm going to be taking a small pointy um, kind of pointy anyways shadow brush and taking that same snazzy color and doing it um, applying it all the way underneath my lower lashes and really make sure you go back and forth and wiggle it in there so that the color really is um, stuck to the skin that's underneath there because it tends to be kind of uh, tends to be kind of creepy sometimes um, so you just want to wiggle it back and forth and make sure the color is um, held on to the skin there and this one you want to go from outer all the way to the inner um, lash line deepening it on the outside. That's where obviously you want more of the color. Then the next color I'm going to be taking is called Faux Fox. It's also by Bare Essentials and a crease brush. And I'm going to start making my crease. Now for me, I'm going to go a little bit above my natural crease line. You can see my crease when I close my eyes there. And I'm doing that because I have a bit of a hooded lid. So if you relax your natural crease line, you have a hooded lid, it's going to disappear. So you fix that you want to go a little bit above your natural crease and really work it into the outer corner and create it a much darker there and it'll give a more lifted look to the eye and just keep building the color on um, it sometimes can take a little bit more time but the results are far more beautiful when you start off by a little bit of color and just keep adding to it and I try to do mine uh, do my eyes and I suggest everybody to with your eyes open that way you can really see where you need to place the color. So I'm just working it in from the natural crease line up about an eighth of an inch. Making sure that you keep the shape that you place down with that first color. Then taking that same smaller shader brush and applying that darker color just to the outer half of the lower lash line and it's okay you want to smoke this out because you're going to be applying false lashes so you kind of want to balance that out by bringing the color on your lower lash line a little bit further the next and darkest color that I'm going to be using is you can never be too rich brown by bare essentials and this is going to be going into the outer V I really want to give the illusion of my eyes being lifted and so whenever you place dark colors that's going to recede making it look like I have a larger crease than I actually do which is great if you have hooded lids um, or more mature lids. So just keep working the color in. You don't want this big kind of dark spot, but you want it to be, you know, naturally blended in, darker on the outside. And you just make that V shape. Make sure you keep checking your other eye. Make sure you're making the same shape. And with that V, I'm bringing out more towards my eyebrow. And see how I keep checking, making sure I did the right shape. That's because for me, my eyes are slightly shaped differently. One is a little bit more higher set than the other. So I'm just making sure, making the same um, shape. Then I'm taking a kind of fluffier shadow brush and just adding a little bit more to the actual V of the eye to make it nice and dark. And bring it across to the lid. 
then taking my crease brush and just to blend. Blend, 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 that is always the key to a beautiful look. You don't want to see any harsh lines. So just blend it out. Take your time with this. Obviously, it's your special day, so you want to make sure that you put the emphasis um, where it needs to be, which for me, I like to emphasize the eyes and, you know, just make sure the shape is perfect. Use your fingers if you get a little bit and you want to create the shape. You can just use your fingers to wipe it off a little bit. Then taking that darker color, I'm just going to fill in that gap between my upper and lower lash line right there in that, you know, kind of like little socket there and making it nice and dark on the very outer edge of my lower lash line. And again, you want to make sure you place color down there so that it really makes your eyes stand out. Now I'm going to take my highlight color, which is Vanilla Sugar by Bare Essentials, and a fluffier brush, more dome-shaped brush, and apply that to the highlight areas. Now, darker color makes it recede, lighter color makes it stand out. So I'm going to do the inner corner of my eye, and then my brow bone, and just make sure it's a nice even wash. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and really pack the color on to the parts that I really want to stand out, which is going to be my inner corner of my eye always makes your eyes look nice and wide and awake and then bring it up to like the bridge the side of the bridge of my nose into my socket line the contrast between the light color and dark color make it stand out and then of course your brow bone go to the highest point of your brow bone which is typically where your arch is place the most color down and then sweep it down to make it look nice and blended and if you need to bend uh, blend a little bit more take your fluffy brush and go back check does it make uh, does it look nice and even just add a little bit more if you need to. Now I'm going to be taking my brow brush and going back into my brow color and just adding a little bit more to my lower part of my brow just to make it really stand out against the eyes. If you don't normally do your eyebrows, this is one day where you really want to. Um, it can really frame the face and really complement your eye color. Now I'm taking a flat liner brush, taking some black gel liner, any brand will do, and tight lining my upper lash line. Now I'm not doing this for dramatic effect, I'm doing this to make sure that there's no skin that peeks through from my lower lashes. It's just going to make your natural lashes look nice and thick. And again, get rid of any kind of skin color that may peek out once you apply those false lashes. Wiggle it along the lower, your upper lash line all the way from the inner to the outer. Now I'm going to mix two colors for my lower lash line, water line that is. I'm taking a peach color and a white color and mixing the two together and applying that with an angled liner brush all the way to my bottom, bottom water line. This is going to make the eyes look a little bit bigger. And then you can take a, the remainder that was left from your upper water line and just kind of smudge that along the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take e.l.f. liquid liner, any liquid liner will do, and go ahead and line my upper lash line just to give um, a nice kind of base for where the lashes need to stick to and to make it look nice and thick. Now on the line, the first line that goes around, I want to do kind of a thinner line very close to my lashes and just wing it out ever so slightly. You want to do a little bit of a winged out because the lashes are going to wing out slightly and you don't want it to look so stark against the skin. If you don't normally wear eyeliner, this can look a bit dramatic, but I promise you it will look good when everything's said and done. Then curl your lashes. Please curl your lashes. It's the biggest, you know, and easiest thing you can do to make your eyes look more open and awake and your lashes fuller. So curl those babies. Press down for about seven to eight seconds and work your way down the lashes. Now I'm taking a primer potion for my lashes. This is by Urban Decay. You don't have to do this if you have nice thick lashes, but for me, I want to make sure that there's something for the lashes to kind of rest on. So I want to thicken my lashes up because they're pretty thin. If you get a little bit much, just kind of swoop up and then go backwards against the, the lash and it'll really coat the top and the bottom of your upper lash line. Then take a volumizing mascara for your wedding day. You want to do a waterproof one. Um, this one, however, is not. It's just what I had on hand, but make sure you get waterproof. And really coat the lower lash line. You want to make sure it looks nice and balanced. You don't want to have heavy lashes on the top and nothing on the bottom. So make sure you um, really get a good coating on the lower lash line and make sure they look kind of straight and even. It's just going to make the eye look nice and open. Again, balance is key with the makeup for a wedding day look. There we go. 
Now let's work on the lash line. Get to the roots, the very, very roots of your eyes. Kind of wiggle it in there and then twist the brush up so that you can really get the roots of the lashes. And plus it's going to help keep that curl. If you're just applying mascara to the outer parts of your lashes, you're, you're really kind of cheating yourself. Tip your head back so you make sure you don't catch any skin while you're doing this. You don't want to ruin your makeup after you spent so much time in it. Work the outer lashes. It's important to get a good kind of base of mascara for your falsies. This is how I take mine off. You just pull down against away from, uh, against the plastic. Pull it off. Wrap it around your finger. It's going to give it a nice round shape. Apply a thin strip of glue. Wait 30 seconds and place the middle part of the lash down and then kind of tuck in the outer and inner like seams. You just kind of like want to tuck it in. And the key is waiting, making sure you wait. Now this one I should have waited a little bit longer, but there you go. And then you can just kind of fix it as you need to. Then go back over those lashes with some liquid liner. If you get a little kind of extra bit of glue, just wiggle the, uh, the liner in between the lashes and I'll cover it right up. Now I'm going to go move on to the lips. I'm taking a primer after I moisturize my lips and apply that to my lips. And then I'm going to take Bloom, a nice pink rosy color, and apply that to the outer, um, my my lip line but you know a nice thin kind of line this is going to be my darker color once you go all the way around fill in the little triangle shape right there on the outer corners of your lips you can see me I'll go down and just kind of blend it back in this is going to give the appearance of your lips being much much fuller plastic surgery but without the painter money <laughs> and go ahead and do that to the upper lip as well And then take your finger to kind of press that into the lips. And then take a lighter color. This is East and Snob by Rimmel. And fill in the um, unfilled area, kind of the center of the lips. I don't know if I said it. The first one was Bloom by Ulta. And just kind of make it all go in and then blend it with your finger, kind of smushing it into the lip. Make sure you blot. Take a, take a nice nudie pink lipstick. This one is by Too Faced. It's called Centerfold. It looks a little bit more brown on camera. And then their lip gloss and I'm Perfect. Add that to the center of the lips and then kind of spread it out with your lips and then blot. Should look something like this. Then I'm going to take a nice shimmery gloss. This is Dazzle a Glass Sugar Rim by MAC and just apply that to the very center of your bottom lip. Now it's time for blush and highlight. This is a Smashbox Duo, and I'm trying to look at the color now. Uh, it's just called Undercover. So I'm going to take, obviously, the blush, apply that to the um, cheekbones and a little bit to the cheeks, uh, apples to the cheeks, and then take the highlighting part and just go over my forehead, down my nose, and across my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take Faux Tan by Bare Essentials on a fan brush and work that into the areas that I want to contour and just give a little bit more color to my skin and of course the hollows of my cheeks. You want to make sure you use a matte color for this. Across the bridge of the nose, down the tip, a little tip to make your lips look filler, fuller, add this to the bottom lip, a contour color. And we're finished. <music>